did you feel like people treated you with equal respect? Did you feel part of the team? Were there times that you felt um, uh, out of the team? And when did that happen? That happened when, because before I became NCOIC. Well, NCOIC, what's that? A non-commissioned officer in charge. In charge, right. Okay. Before I became, before I was put in charge mm -hmm. because of uh, anything, mm -hmm. we had a guy come in as the NCOIC in charge of the equipment and mm -hmm. stuff. He was a staff. Mm -hmm. He was also a staff, mm -hmm. but he outranked me. Mm -hmm. So he. I, I, I had more service than he did, mm -hmm. more experience than he did, mm -hmm. but it just happened I'm three years behind. Mm -hmm. So he came in, his, his, his name was Boyce. Mm -hmm. uh, Boyce was a bully. Mm -hmm. Boyce was a, was a redneck. Mm -hmm. Boyce was a pitiful person. No. Nobody liked him. Mm -hmm. Basically, he was a, he was always doing something that was aggravated. Mm -hmm. I came from lunch one day. Mm -hmm. Buzz the buzz the. Somebody yeah. let me in. Mm -hmm. and he let me in. Mm -hmm. And Boyce was standing up with a noose, holding up this noose on a string. And he laughed when I walked in the door. He just laughed and laughed and laughed. I looked at him and I looked at the noose. No doubt what, what he was insinuating. And all the guys just kind of snicker, you know. That's the only time I felt totally, totally alone. I felt totally alone. I felt like nobody could help me take care of this situation. Ooh. Now, these, these are the people who are snickering are guys that you worked with. That's right. That's, that's why I say I felt you were betrayed. That's yeah, it was it was it was the most disheartening thing I've ever had happen to me. Mm -hmm. I felt totally lost. I say, how can you think of me, think of yourselves, and think of me as a person that you would do this to? Mm -hmm. Let alone your, your own thinking, but to re reenact this thing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. To try to reenact something that you think would be funny. Mm -hmm. That just, just tore me apart. Ooh. Nothing else was said about it. I ignored it. I put it in the uh, ledger. You did? I wrote it in the ledger, what happened. Hoping somebody would see it. Mm -hmm. Because I didn't want to go directly mm -hmm. to anyone about it. Mm -hmm. I had to work with these people. Right, right. I had to work with them. Mm -hmm. Nothing else was said about it. But every time I walked in that door from then on, I could basically see that noose. It's in the back of your mind. And what these people are thinking. And what do you think of me? Mm -hmm. And I know what I think of all of you now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
we had the gun on, on the door mm -hmm. and people trying to get in there. Mm -hmm. Now, my mind was not on that gun. Mm -hmm. It could have been. If I had been raised differently, mm -hmm. if I had been raised or uh, not nurtured to respect mm -hmm. people, mm -hmm. I would have blown every damn one of them away. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But you see, that's why we didn't tell you guys how bad it was. Mm -hmm. And the things that I had to go through, your mom and I had to go through, we didn't want you to do, we didn't want you to have to do, go through that mentally mm -hmm. and stain your conscience of people the way they really wanted to feel about you and how you should feel back at them.